Uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, here I have a base room set up with a lower and a higher area where I will have a teleport between. Uh, here is a small zombie area. Okay, f when we're gonna start, we're gonna go to actor. We're gonna find a navigation point. Once you have clicked it, you can find small navigation point. There will be teleporter under and KF teleporter. Uh, right mouse on the floor, add KF teleporter here. I will show you how you can see the radius of the teleporter. Right mouse on your view, go to actor, radius view. Now you can actually see the size uh, when you're going to touch it. So we can change it by going to the collision of, uh, of the properties. This is something like uh, 60. Yeah, this is nice. And we can do the same on the other side, but we can also just copy this one with Shift D. Put it in the right location. Once we have it in the right location, you can also do this in the 3D view. You can see the radius in the 3D view. Okay, now we're gonna set up the the location where the teleport is going to. This works a little bit different than event tag. Uh, you have to set up the URL, which will basically uh, go to the next tag. So for one, we're gonna send uh, tag end, and the other one URL start. So the next one will be then uh, the tag will be start and the URL will be end. So that basically uh, means that you can teleport between the same uh, between the two uh, teleporters. Okay, now we can give a little test run to see if it works. Okay, let me boot up the game. I also want to show you some uh, useful uh, console commands that you can use. So open up the console. Uh, first you need to type uh, enable cheats. This is very useful for uh, testing your map. God will give you God mode. And once you spawn you can type uh, arsenal. It will basically give you all KF weapons. So now we're gonna test if it works. See, now you are on, on the other side. You go back, you are back on the other side. Okay, now I want to show you that zombies will also see this as a pad. So I will make a, a small pad node, a small uh, pad for the zombies to follow to the teleporter, and then they will use the teleporter to get to the higher uh, area. So basically, uh, just copy it past uh, some here and there. Then we have to uh, also make some pad nodes on top of there. So just uh, you can ju also just click the pad node and then shift D it. It's easy copy past uh, way. And then we're gonna build all. And now I will show I will show you that it works. Uh, we can also uh, view the pad. Show pad. And now you can see there is a purple line between the teleporters, so the zombies will also see this as a path they can follow. So build all and we're gonna test it. Okay, I've booted up the game. Um, we're just gonna click ready. Now I will go to the upper side to see if the zombies will actually see the teleporter as a pathway. So I'm standing here and they should be coming any time. Ah, uh, there they come. You will see they will actually ignore me and just go to the pad, uh, to the teleporter, instead of uh, walking towards me. And now you see they are actually on top of here. So you can use this like in your map when you have a high area, like a, a, a large building. You just make uh, some areas where players can't come and you make a teleporter there, to the higher area. So zombies will actually find a shortcut to the upper area. Well, that's all for now, I guess.